We're on question number 229 of the problem solving section, official guide 2015. Now, when A is greater than zero, the graph will always be heading upwards, like these. The first one will be y equals ax plus b, and the second equation will be y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and the third one will be ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Now if the value of a's here, here, and here are greater than zero, the graph will always be heading upwards. Now our question was x plus 2 times x plus 3 over x minus 2 was greater than or equal to zero. Now if we multiply x minus 2 on both sides, we get x minus 2 squared. And x plus 2 times x plus 3 over x minus 2, the direction of the inequality sign will remain the same because there are positive values. So x minus 2 squared times 0, we get x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so first option, if y equals x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 3, then a should be 1, which is greater than 0. And secondly, y equals x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. Now, if this equals 0, then x could be 2 or minus 2 or minus 3. Now, if we draw that, this is the x-axis, then the points lying on the x-axis will be, well, first of all, the graph will look like this, heading upwards, and the points will be minus 3, minus 2, and 2. Now, this was y. And y should be greater than or equal to 0. So we're looking for areas that are above x-axis. So if the value of x is either greater than or equal to minus 3, and smaller than or equal to minus 2, and is greater than or equal to 2, and smaller than 5. So the satisfying x's are minus 3, minus 2, 2, 3, and 4, but 2 can't be an option because it will make the denominator 0. So we cross that out, and there are 4 answers. The answer is D.